I have awakened every single fruit in Blocks Roots, but if you think every single one of them was a normal fruit, it wasn't. The special fruits I've awakened and mastered are Magma, Gravity, Light, Buddha, and Ice. Now you may wonder, why are these so special? These are the so named called Admiral Fruits. Yes, these are all the fruits used by an Admiral in One Piece. And I awakened all of them in Blocks Roots and put them all together in this exact video so you can see which fruits are really good in the game from all the Admirals from One Piece. Don't forget to drop a like, okay? And this is the first one. I'm gonna be awakening another fruit. Now, this fruit is special because this fruit actually can do a lot of stuff that other fruits can do, like fight CBs. I heard it's a really good CBs fighter. And you guys probably already know what it is. It is the magma fruit. Yes, you're right. The magma fruit must be like one of the best fruits to fight CBs. And you guys know that CBs give a lot of money and I needed a lot of money, okay? Only a 40 million belly, but I wanna have like 100 million before the update. So we're gonna need to buy or eat this fruit. But first, let me roll a fruit. Maybe we can actually get a fruit because I did didn't roll a fruit today. All right, let's see. Come on, Ziolos. You have to juice me up over here, okay? You have to give me a good fruit. Come on. I haven't gotten a good... Come on. No, bro. Don't do this, okay? A spike fruit? That's so bad. I probably can't even store it because I don't have storage yet. Eight, bro. Okay. You know what? I know who can use this fruit. It's star, I think you can use this fruit over here. Look, it's the best fruit. It's, it's for you. Yes, eat it. It's the best fruit. Look, even though you have dragon right now, the dragon is worse, okay? I'm, I'm not even joking. Spike is better. Where are you going? You need to roll fruit. Come here, come here. Ro Wait, no. Don't throw it on the map. Bro, it's worth a thousand fragments. It's gone? You already threw it? Oh my god, you just threw away a thousand fragments. We could have used that for our raid. Anyway, come here. Maybe you can actually roll a magma fruit. Maybe you're actually lucky. If you actually get a magma fruit, I'll give you 10,000 robux. So let's see. Also, guys, like the video and subscribe. Maybe I'll do another bit. Yo. No, 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 no. That's fake. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Come on. You, you have to drop. Yeah, he's not dropping it. He's lying. He wants the 10,000 robux. Yeah, he's lying, guys. <laughs> there is the fruit. Kilo. You literally rolled kilo. I knew it. He was literally trying to finesse me. All right, anyway, let's go over here. And I think we should buy it for robux because every single time you're going to go fight CBS, you need to equip this uh, fruit or eat it. So let's go and just buy it. And there you go. And now once we go over here, oh my God, I got two of these right now. Okay, let's just redeem one. And all these other ones are for you guys. If you're obviously subscribed. So make sure you subscribe right now down below. Anyway, so we should just press on redeem and it should oh there you go redeemed item permanent magma so now if we go over here we should be able to equip it oh there you go we can equip it okay so let's go and equip it and there you go now we need to master this fruit all the way up to 140 and that's gonna be really easy because 140 is not that much and then we can awaken the fruit so star where are you at so i can test the first ability bro where is this guy this guy always just disappears for some reason oh there you are all right let's see the first ability is called magma clap okay i wonder what this does okay wait Yo, why do I have a kilo? Yo, take this back. All right, let's see magma crab. Okay, so... Oh, what is this? Okay, so we can hold it and we can release it. Oh my... Yo, I just clapped you up. Oh, so I can just clap anyone on one like this? Dude, that's insane. Just clap your head, like smash your head. Like, you just pop someone's head like a balloon. Look at this. Pop. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's see what this magma eruption next ability is. All right, let's see. How much mastery am I going to get from this pirate over here? All right. All right, new skill available. That means we got a new skill. Ooh, that's... Whoa. 58 mastery. That's actually a lot. We unlocked two new skills. Okay, axe. So, let's see. Oh, it's like a little volcano. Yo, get this kilo fruit out of here. Bro, why are you playing bowling with a with a kilo fruit? Really? He's trying to slide it in me. Stop. Wait, let's try the magma eruption on you. Let's see. All right, magma eruption. And what if I do it below you? Will it knock back you? Oh, it will. What the hell? And it does damage. That's actually pretty... 6,000. Wait a minute. What the... Wait, that just did a lot of damage. I wonder what this one is going to be awakened. Wait, and we also unlocked another ability. Let's see. Oh, we can go under the ground. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. And we can do... Whoa, wait a minute. 5,000 or... Whoa. This seems already OP. And imagine if it's gonna be awakened. Okay, we need to get awakened version. But for that, we need to kill a boss so I can actually get all the mastery. Right, so first we need to equip Buddha because I'm not gonna be able to defeat this boss with magma. All right, there you go. You should be level... Bro, why are you so annoying with these hooks? Okay, let's see. And then you clap this elephant right here. <laughs> he just got smashed. Okay, let's see. Come on. How much mastery are we gonna get? All right, so we got up to mastery 131, but we need 140 for the last ability. But we did unlock magma fist. So let's see what this is. All right, let's see. C and... Oh, what is that? Oh, look at my fist. And what if I release it? Oh, right. Whoa, okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. Now, let's unlock this magma meteors. All right, there is a ligma, right? Oh, my God, so annoying. Okay, let's see. Wait, can I actually clap this guy? Boom. Uh, yeah, that doesn't do a lot of damage, so I guess we should just use Buddha. Bro, what is this boss? This is supposed to be the best boss in the game, and yet it does no damage. Look at this guy. Wait, he healed up completely? Bro, what? That is so broken. I guess we gotta equip Buddha again. And now we should clap him and... Oh my god, that didn't even do enough. What? Okay, maybe Magma is gonna do it enough. Come on. Let's go. And there you go. Mastery 169. What the hell? And now we unlock this Magma Meteors. Let's see what this is. Three, two, one. 
Oh, okay. I can hold it. And then... Whoa, what the... Yo, no way. That just took away all of your HP. Bro, why are you dropping the Skilo again? Bro, this guy is really trying to give it to me. No way. Get that fruit away from me. I right, guess now we got enough mastery and now we can actually awaken this fruit so we can actually get these abilities extra strong and do 10,000 more damage. All right, to awaken magma, we need to go right over here to this guy. Select the normal. And select the magma fruit over here. And there you go. We got a chip. Now, apparently, magma raid is really, really good. So, I'll have to use Buddha for that. All right, let's see what this raid is all about. I've actually never done this raid. So, let's see. Or maybe once. Bro, this is easy. Why would anyone say this is hard? All right, we got to the next island. When is this gonna get hard? So easy. Oh, and there's the boss. Let's get this kid out of here. Oh, he's tanky. Yo, what the? Oh, my God. This guy's insane. Oh, my... Yo, right, maybe it's not that easy after all. Oh, he's tanky. It's really tanky, okay. But he's doing no damage, pretty much. All right, now we need to equip magma so we can actually uh, awaken it after the raid. And now, let's see. Can we even collab the boss? Yo, oh my god. This boss is acting really tough, guys. I think we need to collab him up real quick. Yo, this guy's going insane. Let's go. Everything missed, really. Okay, come on. No way. He's still alive. Hey, come on. Last clap right here. No way, guys. And there you go. An awakening time. All right, greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your Z ability for 500? Of course. And there you go. What is my Z ability? Magma shower. Okay, okay. Wait, what? Wait, I can walk on water? Wait, really? What the? I didn't know that. This is like ice. You can just walk on water and it just gives like a smoke effect. Wait, that's so cool. Oh, that's why it's so good for CBs grinding because you can just walk walk on water and fight the sea beast. Ah. All right, it's time to test the magma shower, the awakened version. So let's see. All right, three, two, one. Yo, what? What did I just do? That was sick. Wait, this might be the best awakening in blocks roots. I'm not even joking. Let's, let's do it again. Yo, this is so sick. Now it's time to awaken the magma eruption. Let's go. All right, there you go. The second boss. Okay, it should be low enough. And with awakened ability, we should be able to... Oh my God, what the... Yo, chill. Okay, let's see. Right, one more time, I think. And... Uh, wait. You just countered my ability. Maybe this will finish him off? There you go. Magma is actually surprisingly good. All right, there you go. Another ascension. Awaken your F ability for 2,000 fragments. Okay, it's getting more expensive for, but now we got another awakened ability. All right, so let's go and test it. So the next awakened ability is Beast Ride. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be, but let's go and try it. Okay, so three, two, one. And... Yo, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's a flight ability. Wait, can it do damage? Ah, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it does not do any damage, but it's pretty cool. Oh, is it faster than dragon? Oh, and it lasts a little bit, so it has a time that it lasts. You can do it infinitely. But let's do a speed test versus dragon. All right, let's go on. Three, two, one, go. And yeah, dragon is much faster, as you can see. So it's not even that fast. It looks pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna awaken the X ability. All right, there you go. Let's kill the boss. I don't record the whole raid because it would be boring. But here's the boss. Now we only need to kill the boss. And there you go. Awakening time. Also, fruit has been spawned. We'll have to get that one later on. Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascension. You wish to awaken your X ability for 3,000 fra- Bro, it always hurts. Even though I know it's gonna be like that much. Oh my god. All right, let's try out the ability. Let's see if this one is also gonna be that good. All right, so we press X. And okay, this was the magma fist right Let's see oh my wait this is like the god human ability it exactly looks like this one hold on like this one over here yeah this one has much more knockback and more damage but that was pretty cool what if i tap it hold on i didn't tap it um what just happened oh yeah it's just like a magma version of god human pretty good now let's go another raid to awaken this magma fist all right there boss i learned a new trick come here buddy go with me over here Oh, he didn't die from that. I guess we'll have to do that one on top and... Wait, literally is 10 HP. That's not fun. Wait, I need to kill him. There you go. Finally. All right. And now we're gonna awaken the sea ability for 4,000 fragments. All right, let's go. Uh, that's all the fragments though. 12,000 left. Oh no. How much does this even cost? All right, now it's time to test this sea ability. Great Magma Hound. First it was Magma Fist. So let's see. All right, if we hold it, it's just a fist. And if we release it... That kind of looks similar, but it's just like a bigger area, I guess. I mean, seems pretty cool. Let's go and awaken the last one, Magma Meteors. And then we're gonna be the best with Awakened Magma. And we can finally one-shot Sea Beasts. I wanna try that in this video. All right, last awakening, boss. It's time for you to die. Say goodbye. How did that knock you? Okay, I don't know why that is not killing him. There you go. Now we're awakening the last ability. Ascension, there you go. 5,000 fragments, bro. And that's for the fee ability. So, of course, there you go. And now we have fully awakened the magma fruit. Let's check the last ability. What are you doing? You're just spamming tornadoes over and over again? You're crazy. All right, let's go and test the volcanic storm. Okay, that just got another name. I don't know how it's called before. All right, let's see. Three, two, one. Oh my. What the? What the? All right, we just got a big magma fist. And then... I think we just release it. 
What? Yo. Yo, yo, yo. What? He's dying. He's literally died. Yo. That did 10,000 damage. This must be the best awakening whole block streets. I don't... Wait, what is... What is wrong with you? What are you doing? It looks like you have a spasm or something. Like, hello? Hey, get back to normal. Did you just break your back or something? What the? I'm sorry. I think you just need to get a surgery and you should be all good. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too good. Right, now we have this fully awakened. I want to try it on a sea beast because people have been hyping it up. That you can super easy kill a sea beast. So let's go and try it. But first, let's go and get this fruit and let's see if it's any good. It should be somewhere over here, I think. Maybe down here. Let's see. And it's a rubba fruits. Rubba rubba fruits. I can't even stop. Store it. No. I guess I'll have to drop it. Well, it's pretty garbage anyway. Hopefully it gets an awakening soon. Alright, let's get a boat because we need to find a sea beast. Now, usually they spawn very often. When you don't need them, they always spawn. I'm telling you, okay? So let's see if we're just, you know, I'm just going to the next island. Uh, I don't want a sea beast. Please don't spawn one. That would be horrible, right? Ah, uh, that's not a sea beast. Come on, get out of here. These pirates are always so annoying because they stay for so long. Get out. Oh, and I should also probably equip Pelscar because that grants me more damage on my block street abilities. Now we wait and wait. Guys, I'm waiting for so long that even the pirates have been spotted approaching the castle. Uh, where's this stupid sea beast? I guess we'll have to do this first, but I'll speed it up. Don't worry. All right, then there's the last one and we got a sand fruit. Oh, no. Just wasted my time. Oh, my God. After so long. Finally. Thank Thank you, sea beast. All right, let's test the Z ability right now. Okay, so we do this. And that just did 10,000. Oh my. Wait, it's still doing damage. How much? Wait, I'm almost that. I'm almost that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. If I fly, there you go. Oh my. I'm bro. I'm almost that. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, no way. Let's try Fukanic Storm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like that. There we go. Oh my god, look at that damage. Oh my. I think staying low is the key. Yeah, staying low is the key. That a little. Okay, that didn't hit anything. Oh, bro. And I'm dead. What is this boss? It's so good. It's way too strong, man. Wait, we got two CBS and one? What the? Wait, is that how is that even possible? Okay. All right, come on. Another try. Let's go. Okay, we gotta dodge everything. I right, do a little bit of that. Oh, stop roaring. I think he's low. I think he's low. Okay, he should be super low. Hold on, come on. And last one. There you go. Let's go. Okay, magma does a lot of damage. Not gonna lie. I think because of the magma sticking. Look, it still does damage after I'm not even doing attacks. So if I attack him right now and it's still doing damage. Look at that. Bro, stop with that ability. It just puts me under the ground. Ah, uh, now you're scared. And there you go. Whoa, that does a lot of damage, by the way. Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie. We're almost done with this series, okay? Last video, we awakened spider fruit. And if you guys don't know, spider fruit, bro. This is one of the sickest fruit in the game, all right? You have a sick movement ability and you have a really high damage ability. So all these other abilities like this one, this one, or this one don't do that much damage. But if we go over to the V ability, Heavenly Punishment, this ability might be the most damage ability there is in the entire game. I'm not even joking, okay? This ability does like 8,000 damage and it stuns the enemy. So I'm convinced Spider is one of the most broken fruits in the game. But in today's video, we're gonna awaken a fruit that you guys have been requesting a ton, okay? I've seen a ton ton and a ton of comments. And the fruit I'm talking about is obviously the ice fruit, okay? Ice is one of the best fruits in the game, you guys said, for PvP. So today we're gonna awaken this PvP fruit and see how good it actually is. Okay, so guys, let's go and eat this fruit right here because I already have a full storage of this fruit, so... Nom, nom. And guys, we have Ice Fruit activated. And as you can see, I've never used this fruit in my entire life, okay? We have Ice Spears, and that's it. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, and four abilities. So that means less abilities to awaken, so it's gonna be a little faster. And guys, Star is in the server, but I don't know where he is, okay? I've been looking for him for a while, and... Wait, never mind, he's right over here. Why are you sitting at the trade? I guess he wants to trade or something. Let's see what he has for me. A key, bro. No, what? What? What is that, man? I don't need kilos. Like, come on now. You can keep them yourself, okay? But hey, Star, let's go and raw fruit, okay? Because today is the day, okay? Today we're gonna get the ice fruit. Come on, please. Come on, and... Bro, I got this the last video as well. Come on, man. What do you got? Oh my god. What do you got? You got what? You got ice? Bro. What? It is not even a- Bro. What do you mean you got it? You definitely got kilo fruit, not ice. Oh my god, this guy, man. Wait, 
I need help. I got the kilo virus. Yeah, you definitely got some kilo virus or something, man. Not really sure how to fix that. But guys, anyway, let's go over to the shop because we do need ice permanent, okay? And as you guys can see, it's a really low fruit. So it's gonna be a, a little Robux, right? Let's see. It's gonna be 750 Robux. But wait, you cannot gift or buy fruits while you have it equipped? That's pretty interesting. I guess we have to equip the other fruit and now we can buy it. Okay. I did not know that, by the way. But anyway, it's time to purchase ice for 750 Robux because we all need it permanent, okay? And you guys said it's a good fruit, so I believe in you guys, okay? Now, guys, we have one, two, three, four abilities, and the mastery is a hundred, so we'll be mastering this fruit. <laughs> super easy. And guys, if you haven't already noticed, we have a spare in our hands and oh, we can wait. So this is a really good fruit because you have like a melee weapon type. So look, if I hit him, yeah, I can literally do damage. So that's why it's really good for grinding. You can put all your stats points on blocks root in place of like melee or something and you can just farm with your blocks root, which is really, really amazing. But anyway, let's go and try the first ability, which is ice spares, which is mastery one. Let's go and check it out. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, and... Ooh, wait, 3k, that's, I guess that's all right for the first ability. I mean, I've seen worse, okay, I've seen worse. Wait, I didn't really see the ability, hold on, let's try it one more time, okay. What is happening? Wait, that is actually really sick. Let's go and try it from a little bit of distance, okay? Is it gonna reach? Oh my, wait, that's insane. And keep in mind, these are unawakened abilities, so we have to awaken all of these, and then we'll see how cool they are, okay? So now let's go and unlock all these abilities, and then awaken them. And check this out, guys. We can literally, like, kill the enemy. Like, yeah, look at that. We can just literally kill him with the ice root, or, like, the trident or whatever. And guys, look at that. Even if I kill him with my trident, I get mastery on the block roots, which, that's really, really nice. And we just got 57. So let's go and test these other two abilities, ice surge and ice bird. All right, first, let's test ice surge, okay? So three, two, one. Oh, okay. What? Okay. And boom! A bunch of ice spikes, but it didn't do much damage. Uh, yeah, that's not a lot, alright? And it didn't froze him, so let's go and try it one more time. Yeah, it just kicks him back a bit, but it does almost no damage. It's a pretty cool ability, though, but yeah, I mean, not already that impressive. All right, now we're gonna try Ice Bird, which is 50 mastery, okay? So, let's go and try it out right now, and... Uh, oh, I froze him. You guys saw that? But it was like one second. Okay, let's go and try it one, once again, like from here or something. I'm sending a bird. Oh, I didn't even reach him. So it doesn't have a lot of range. Okay, that's not too good. For an ability like that, we need a much more range. But anyway, let's go and try it again like that. Look, he's frozen. <laughs> no way. So now we can freeze our opponents, but it didn't do much damage either way. I mean, I guess it's a freeze ability, so it's decent. Now let's get this last ability, which is 100 mastery. And come on, 96. Ooh, almost. Wait, so that means we can also freeze NPCs, no? Let's see. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. And it was this one, right? Yeah, he's frozen. Wait, what? Just like for one second. And there you guys go. New skill available. But guys, did you know ice fruit is the easiest, like, masterable fruit that you can awaken? Because every single other one that is in a shop, I guess flame is the same thing. Yeah, flame is the same thing, but flame has one more ability. I guess it's the same as flame. But now let's go and try Glacial Epic, which is the last ability, the V ability, okay? Let's go and try it out. Three, two, one, and... Okay, wait, did it freeze you? Yes. All right, so it also froze you. Okay, so now we got two abilities that freeze. Hopefully, if I awaken all the abilities, we get way more frozen abilities. Let's go and try it one more time. Okay, so we do this, and now we can... Yeah, look at that. He's frozen. Look. And now we can just attack him and do a lot of combos. So it has a lot combo potential. Now, the mastering part is done, guys. We have all the abilities unlocked. Let's go and awaken this fruit. Oh, wait, look at Star. He also has like a, a light spare, right? That's light fruit, right, Star? Yes, yes. So light fruit and ice fruit are the only fruits. That have a melee sword that you can literally fight with, which is insane. Now, let's go awaken this fruit right here, okay? Ice fruit awakening, here we go. Oh, and guys, look at the island. It's like a frozen island. This looks actually pretty cool. It's like the snow village from C1, which I kind of like. All right, let's go to the next island. Wait a minute. Oh, I can walk on water. I forgot about that. I guess I didn't know. I mean, magma has the same thing, right? Yo, look at that. I can just go onto what, Bro, this is sick. That is actually insane. If you guys remember, magma had the same thing, which was actually really nice. It's really good for grinding CBs. So maybe ice is also a good fruit to grind CBs with, maybe? I'm not really sure about that. Guys, look at this island. Is it like three bridges? That looks pretty cool. One side, we got like a mountain. Uh, I guess it looks like a mountain. It's not really. Or like a rock stone. And then we got like a village. Wait, are these igloos? No way. Look 
Look at that. Wait, this looks like a really cool island, like a winterland. This is actually so sick. I'm pretty sure these are the igloos from the Harankond Island from like C2. That's pretty nice. On to the next island. And what is this? What is that statue? This is something new. I've never seen this before. And guys, this raid is really easy. Like compared to every other raid I did, this is like one of the easiest one I did. Wait, what the? What the? Wait, we got just stunned like that? Alright guys, it's time to switch to ice right over here. Hey, look at the boss. Ice Master. Yeah guys, we're about to take his spot because we're about to become the Ice Master, okay? Let's go and get this guy out of here. Alright, let's freeze him up. Alright, come on, come on, come on. And let's go. We froze him with his own abilities, okay? Six minutes, 41 seconds remaining, and a thousand fragments. Amazing. And now, all we have to do is talk to this guy over here and awaken our Z ability for 500. Okay, that's pretty nice. New titles, the Ice King and the Ice Queen. Alright, awesome. Alright guys, so the ability before the awakening was called Ice Pairs, and now it's Cold Storm, so it completely changed. I'm expecting it to be the same ability, kind of, so I guess let's go and... Come on. Uh, what? Okay, guys, that ability definitely changed. What even was that? I just summoned a storm. What? It doesn't do that much damage, but it kind of stuns him, right? It stuns. Oh, yeah, I guess it stuns, right? So if we do Cold Storm and we do this in... Oh, I mean, oh wait, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Can just freeze him. Yo, that is so sick. And look at that ice bird. It looks so... Oh, wait, what? I'm so chill right now. Ah, oh, okay, dude. Right, because you got frozen. Okay, good one. But now, guys, it's time to awaken our next ability, which is, I'm pretty sure, X, right? Yeah, ice search, which is this one right over here. Yeah, hopefully this one gets way bigger and way better. All right, guys, as you can see, we're back at the boss, okay? Okay, what does it start doing with the boss? What? Okay, let's do this. Come on, do the storm. Do this one. Okay, let's do a combo real quick. Come on, do this and... Uh, he is... Die, bro. Bro, 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 bro. No, no, no. Oh, my God. What the... I was close, bro. Okay, we got him, though. And wait, why is the radar... <sighs> bro, what is going on? What is this guy doing over here, man? Like, bro, are you camping? Do you really not want to die? Come here, man. And he's dead. There you go. Congratulations. Six minutes, 11 left. That is slower than the first one, but it's all right, because now we're about to awaken the... F ability. Wait, what? We already... Bro, that's the second fruit. I'm literally randomly getting another ability, okay? F ability for 2,000, okay? I guess so. And there you guys go. 2,000 fragments for the F ability. Ice skating? Wait, am I not already, like, kind of skating on ice? Maybe that's not what they mean. All right, guys. It's time to test the ice skating ability, okay? I'm not sure what this is. This is an awakening. Like, I just really randomly got this ability. Anyway, let's go and try it out. I'm not sure if it does damage. So, let's see. 3, 2, 1, and go. Oh, uh, all right. It doesn't do... Wait, what the... Uh, why can't I move? Wait, is it like a one direct? Why can't I move? Wait, what the? Am I not supposed to be able to move there? It looked really weird, guys. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I can move. I can move. So I had to hold W and like move around where I want to move to. But wait, Star wants to race with Ming V4? Okay, buddy. All right, guys, let's go and try it out, okay? Is ice faster? Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, bro. Come on. He's faster with dashing. No way, bro. All right, this looks really fast, but I guess he's faster, man. What is happening? It's glitching a bit. But guys, this is insanely sick. This is a really good way to get fast with, like, slow races. It's a really good movement ability. From what I've saw with other fruits, this is insane. But guys, we still have to awaken three more abilities, so let's go and do that. So far, it's looking pretty promising, all right? Guys, while doing this raid, I have some really fun facts that you want to hear about Ice Fruit. Did you guys know it takes 14.5 thousand fragments to awaken it? Yeah, quite a lot. And it also has a 15% chance to get into the blocks for dealer. So that kind of means that you don't buy it permanently because it's so often in stock that it's literally no point in buying it. It is a belly waste though, so... And guys, the ice fruit is most popular in PvP, so we're gonna see, all right, once it's fully awakened. I'm excited. Now let's kill this boss over here. All right, guys, there he is. He has one HP and we're about to destroy this guy. Wait, huh? Why did it go backwards? What? All right, guys, let's freeze him up and now let's beat him up. Come on. Oh, yo, yo, yo. okay. And there you go. We got it in with seven minutes. Okay. Isn't that a record time or something? That's pretty good. All right, now we can awaken our X ability for 3,000 fragments. Okay, let's go and do that right now. And there you go. We got it. And guys, before we test that, a block has spawned. Okay, 900 meters. Wait, where is this thing? Let's go to Sea Castle. Oh, it's 80 meters away. It's right over here somewhere. Where's this guy going? Wait, he's gonna get it before me. No way. Where is it? What is it? Oh, it's a. Bruh. It's a okay, you can have that actually. It's to revive fruit. Skull a mode. Yeah, guys. <laughs> what the? It's a doo-doo fruit. At least I've never mastered it, so I don't really know. Maybe I should do it one day. Anyway, we're about to test the X ability, which is called Glacial Surge. Alright, guys. Let's go and test it out, okay? 3, to 1, and go. 
Yo, okay, that's exactly what I expected. It's bigger, it does more damage, and it stuns. It's not a lot of damage, though, so once we do it, let's see, it's- is he stunned or something? Where is he? Where is he? It looks way better. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Look at that. It's, like, way, way bigger. Yeah. I'm frozen in the air? Wait, really? Are you frozen in the air while I'm doing it? Alright, that's pretty good. Now, let's go and awaken the next one. Wait, but when I land, I unfreeze. Wait, what? That's really interesting. So, in the air, you're freezed up. That's really cool. Now, let's go and awaken the ice bird ability, which is a C. Alright, guys, we're once again at the last boss, and he has one each. What? He's attacking the wall. Anyway, let's go and do this. That and the bird, which we're about to awaken. He's frozen, okay? And there you go. Seven minutes and 16 seconds. Wait, that is an insane time. Not too bad. Now, let's go and take me to Ascension and awaken the sea ability for 4,000. Do I have enough? And I do. So let's awaken it, and there you guys go. Perfect. All right, so far, boys, this fruit is not disappointing, okay? Not even gonna lie. This is one of my favorite, like, low-tier fruits. Now, it's called Frozen Dragon. Okay, a dragon. Okay. All right, guys, three, two, one, and go. Wait, what? What was that? I'm guessing you got stunned again. Hold on, hold on. Let's- I'm gonna try to do that again. Ice dragon. I didn't even see a dragon, but it looked really cool. Let's go and try it zoomed out maybe, like this. Yo! And he's frozen, right? Yeah, for the time being. But that is insane. Guys, guys, look at the dragon. Look at the dragon. Yo, okay, you can barely see it. But that looks insane. I'm not really sure if this is better for PvP or the Ice Bird. Let me know in the comments. But now it's time to awaken the last ability, which is the V ability. All right, guys, there's the bot. Why is he lying on the... Okay, he was just lying on the ground, I guess. He was being cheating, guys. The raids are so boring, he was already sleeping. Anyway, let's go and kill this guy over here. And there you go. Seven minutes and 30. Even faster, bro. I, were, I was even stalling at the end. Can we do it in eight minutes? I don't know about that one. Anyway, let's go and go over here. And the V ability for 5k. Do we have enough? Bro, really? Really? I am two fragments short. Are you serious right now? Come on, I need to buy this one right here. You know what? I'm just gonna buy 16k fragments, guys. Support a small cost, guys. Rip Indra needs it, okay? Rip Indra really needs it. Now, there you guys go. We're about to awaken the V ability for 5,000. And, oh, man, okay, there you go. Now, it's time to see the true powers of the Ice Fruit. I'm gonna go from ability 1 to ability 4, okay? So, first, we have this one right here, the Storm. Now, we got this one. Just a huge spikes. Then we got the frozen dragon. We spawn a dragon that's freezing him. And then we got absolute zero. We haven't seen his ability yet. Let's go and try it out. Three, two, one, and go. Yo, I guess he got frozen. Doesn't do that much damage. The ability didn't change much. He just got a bunch bigger and it freezes. What I think the best thing is about his fruit is the ice trident and ice skating. Like, bro, it's so fast. It is one of the most amazing things. And don't forget, oh, what the? You can go on water. So ice fruit is definitely up there with the fruits. Now, wait a minute. Why are you not getting damage? What? Why can I see your, you have magma. Wait. You do, but why do I- Wait, I don't see anything below you. It looks like you're Jesus just walking up water. What? what? Alright, that is something I've never seen, guys. Today is gonna be the last day. Yes, guys, I know. I've seen your comments. It's gonna be the last day of Awakening Fruits. But guys, do not get sad because it's not the last upload, right? Far from the last upload. After this, we're gonna master all the fruits. Because we have a bunch of fruit to master. Like, all these top-tier fruits, Leopard, Spirit, Control, and Venom. These fruits don't have an Awakening, so do not not worry. But guys, in today's video, we're on the last Awakening Fruit video, and I'm gonna miss this, okay? Awakening Fruits is something that's pretty fun, because you see abilities that you don't normally see, and they get super, super crazy. Now, in the last video, I awakened this bad boy right over here, and bro, and bro, let me tell you, this is one of the best fruits I've seen in whole Blocks Fruits. Overall, like, bro, look at this, okay? First of all, we got this one, yeah, tell me that doesn't look sick. We have a healing ability, which you can move with. Bro, you can literally move with this. It's amazing, okay? It is super, super sick. This is one of my favorite fruits after awakening it. But in today's video, you guys probably already know what we're doing, okay? We're awakening the light fruit, okay? This is one of the fastest fruit in the game. That's pretty much all I know about it. But it's also an elemental type fruit. And today, we're awakening this bad boy over here, okay? And guys, if I would be reading all the comments asking for light fruit, I'd probably be still reading to this day. So let's go and raw a fruit, okay? Let's see. Start. Wait, is that start? Dude, let's go and raw a fruit, okay? We need to get light fruit, and this is the last awakening. How do you feel about this? It's the last time that we're gonna do the raids. Wait, it's the last one? Yes, it's the last one, alright? Yeah, we have awakened every elemental fruit. Oh no. Yup, it's the last one, man. And now it's not the last one. What do you mean by that? Update 20 will give us more. Wait, that's right. We're gonna awaken more fruits in update 20. Alright, that's amazing. 
amazing, okay? Now let's go raw fruit, okay? Let's see what we're gonna get. Hopefully, we'll get a light fruit so we can actually, like, eat it or something, even though I already have it. And we got Quake and Dark. Okay, that's insane. Look at this. A legendary. Let's go. My luck is on my side today, so that's not bad. All right, let's go and store this one over here. Unlucky. We haven't gotten a light fruit, but it's time to buy it now. Okay, I got you. Wait, really? Are you gonna buy it for me? No way. Oh my god, wait. Received a perfect gift. Oh, he wasn't lying. Let's go. We actually got it. No way. Okay, amazing. Thank you, right? Now we can actually master this fruit. And as you can see, I have never used the light in my life. And look at that spare. Oh my, what the? We have a spare like ice fruit, like the trident. We can actually attack with this, which is gonna make mastering a little bit easier. Oh, and check that out. We only need 110 mastery for mastering this fruit, which is gonna be really easy. Now, let's go and try this first ability, which is light ray, okay? Let's see. All right. And oh, okay. Oh, uh, that did not do a lot of damage. Hmm, I don't know about that one. Wait, is it like a range ability? Can I do it from all the way over here? Let's see. Oh, it is. Wait, that looks pretty cool. It is a really fast ability. But it's pretty basic and it's the first ability unawakened. So yeah, pretty nice, I guess. You cannot dodge that one. But guys, before awakening, we need to master all these abilities, okay? And we have five abilities to master. So let's go and do that right now. And guys, the best part is we can just use our sword. Look at that. And let's see how much are we gonna get? Probably like 60, right? We're always getting 60 from this area. Oh, we got 47. Wait, I'm, am I not supposed to get 60? Or is it from these pirates? Did I just call another one? Well, I don't know. Let's go and kill another one. And... And, okay, 58. And we've unlocked Light Flight and Barrage of Light. But first, I want to check how much damage this does to Star, okay? Let's see. 1.7k. So if you get close range to people, this is really good. Anyway, let's go and try the next ability, which is Barrage of Light. 3, 2, 1. Uh, whoa. What the... Oh, this is like dragon. I think this, yeah, this is the ability like dragon. But bro, this time I'm shooting stars from the sky. Look at this. This is pretty cool. But it only does like 1k damage. Uh, yeah, that did literally nothing. What if I hit everything? Because it looked like I missed a lot. Uh, what is hap- It's lagging. Okay, 1.7k is still not that great. All right, let's go and try the fly ability right now, okay? Light flight, okay? I'm excited because I've heard this is the fastest one. Hey, man, let's see it, okay? And, oh, okay, it didn't do damage, but... Yo, okay, I cannot control it, by the way. Okay, wh what the... Uh... All right, so it's going one direction. I cannot control it, so I need to get away. And then wait for it to reload, and then go the direction I want. So if I want that direction, then you go like this, and you're super pro. Look how fast this is. Oh my, I'm literally faster than him. He's trying to get me with Ming-Fi 4, but I'm literally faster. Oh, now you're in a race, huh? Okay, let's go and try it out, bro. All right, man, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna win either way, okay? All right, three, two, one, go. Uh, all right, I started a little bit faster. Bruh, what? No way. Okay, yeah, his ability is gonna wear out, right? Yeah, his ability is gonna wear out. Yeah, look at that. We're just... Uh, come on. No way, he's really fast. All right, there is no way, bro. What cheats are you using, man? What What are those cheats? Leopard, Ming-V4, and Pilot Helmet? All right, buddy. Yeah, we know, okay? Anyway, guys, we need to unlock the C ability, Reflection Kick, and Sky Beam Barrage, okay? So let's go do that. And guys, obviously, to awaken our abilities, we can go right over here to Elephant, and look, he's 1 HP. Let's see how much we will get. Come on. Get him with this. Bro, it's so hard to hit. Wait, okay. And let's go. All right, we're going from 59 to 108. Two more mastery and we can unlock the next one. But what we did unlock is Reflection Kick. So let's see what this is gonna be. All right, let's see. Three, two, one, and... All right. Oh my, what? What was that? Okay, so I teleported above him and I just beamed him up. All right, I gotta try it one more time, okay? Like that. Oh my... What? It does 3,000 damage, which isn't that much, but that's a sick ability. Now, let's go and check what Skybeam Barrage is gonna be. The last ability. We should get it by killing this guy over here. Come on, and we got it. New skill available. I'm not sure what that's gonna be, but let's go and try it out. Three, two, one, and go. Uh, oh, yo, 4,000 damage? Bro, that's insane. Every ability above 4,000 is pretty good. So I would say that's a really good one. Right, let me try it one more time, but I'm gonna look from above, right? Let's see. Oh my. Yo, what? He's getting bombarded by star bombs from the sky, okay? Star is getting bombarded by stars, okay? You heard that, right? Alright, guys, now we have everything mastered up, and it's time to awaken this fruit right here. I'm excited, okay? Because you guys have been hyping it up, okay? Let's see if it's worth the hype. Alright, guys, we just loaded in, and wait a minute, that's a pyramid. Why is that in a light raid? What? Guys, isn't this supposed to be in a sand raid? I haven't seen almost any pyramids in a sand raid. Yeah, that's kind of weird. And we arrived at a second island, and wait, isn't this literally that? 
desert from C1? Like, this is the same thing. I remember this from Sandred. I think this is the same island. Yeah. And we go to the next island and... Wait, this is literally the island from sand. No way. They just recycled it. Copy pasted. Anyway, let's get these guys over here. And let's speed run to the boss. And the next island has like three rocks over here. I guess it's a little bit different now. It's not all the same islands from sand fruit. So I guess I'll let it slide. Guys, we're on the next island. But wait, why is the boss below? What? Wait, what the? They're teleporting to me. What is happening? So I'm guessing I have to go inside of this. Uh, what is this place? I guess we need to fight inside the pyramid. Okay, the Buddha is just fitting. All right, let's get this boss over here. Oh my God, what the? All right, guys, the boss is low and I'm also low. So I need to be fast on this one. Okay, let's do this. Okay, do that. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Die. And let's do this. Uh, where's the ball? He's inside again, bruh. Now we need to go all the way back. And yeah, he's really low. Okay, let's see. Come on. Wait, guys, did I see that right? This boss has a golden scythe. What? Wait, that is insane. How can I get one myself? I want one. Anyway, let's go and kill this boss over here. And that should be it. And there you go. Complete the raid with 5 minutes 42 and 1,000 fragments. And now we're gonna go over to the mysterious entity, which is a default skin with fire. But we gotta awaken our zebra teeth for 500 and there you go new title unlocked the first light and let's see this okay now it's called the fine arrow okay that was like the beam okay let's go and try it out okay three two one and oh my wait i have a bow in my hand what the like it's Yo, it does twice as much damage almost and it shoots three shots wait that was insane wait, wait let me look at it one more time All right so it charges up and then Boom. Oh my, what? All right, that ability is insane. Wait, what if I tap it? What if I tap it? Oh, then it shoots one and it does way less damage. So you have to hold it in. And what if he's really close? Is he gonna get all the three bullets? Let's see. Oh my, wait, 4.2 thousand? That's insane. I thought it's gonna be a little bit more when all the three are hitting him. But that is pretty cool, okay? Now let's awaken the F ability, I guess. Light flight. But this one should be insane. All right, guys, next boss. Let's go all the way down here. And this is where they all camping at, okay? But I'm pretty sure there's some hidden message in this, okay? If anyone knows that, then you're a legend. But I'm getting killed, so I need to go. What the? The boss is killed. You, 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 you. Where am I? Boom. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. This is an annoying raid, okay? The boss is like respawning all the time. Let me kill this guy over here. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh my god, oh my god. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, bro. And he respawned inside. Like, what? Can I get inside by flash stab? I can't even go inside by flash stabbing, man. Let's go and kill this boss over here, okay? And come on. 4.4k, okay? Come on, do a little bit of this. I can't even see where I'm going with this, okay? Do a little bit of this. Um, where's the ball? Where's the boss? Bro, what is this? Guess we gotta go do this again. All right. And he's outside, bruh. All right, this should be... And there you go. That's enough. Five minutes remaining. We're doing this slow, okay? And we got a thousand fragments. And now let's go over here and ascension the F ability for 2,000, okay? Let's go. Come on. All right, I'm excited for this one, okay? What's this gonna be? Let's see, bro. I don't know if it's gonna do damage, so... Now it's called shining light, okay? Let's go and try it out, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Uh, what? Wait. Oh! Wait, can turn? Bro, what? That was the only flow with the flight ability and it fixed itself by awakening. Oh, this is insane. No, this is the fastest flight ability in the game and you can even turn. Okay, this is insane, guys. No way. I can go everywhere I want. Okay, so if you don't have portal, this is insane, right? Because like you, you can go anywhere you want by just flying. And this is faster than any boat in the game. So I think this is a really good deal to awaken this fruit. Yeah, this is amazing. And it looked way better than before. Now let's go and awaken the X ability, okay? And see how good it is. Wait, but Star wants to show me something. I don't know what he's trying to show me, okay? What do you mean come here? I, I don't know what you're trying to say, okay? Are we going to lick my- Bro, what? A Buddha fruit? Did you just find this? There's no way, bro. What? That is insane. Yo, Buddha. Yeah, bro. And there you go. He collected it. That is insane. Oh, I just- uh, I just stole it. Nice. Yo, now it's mine. Yoink. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here quickly. Oh my god. No, no, no. Yo, yo, let me just fly away. Let me just fly away. I'm super fast either way. Yo. Okay, you can't catch me, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Yo, what the? It's my Buddha fruit, my Buddha fruit. You know what, you know what? I don't want that, I don't want that. Here, here, take it, take it back, take it back, okay? Guys, the kilo virus is gone. We're finally getting some good fruits, okay? Finally eating some good, tasty fruits. Alright, guys, the boss is right over here. And look, it's low, okay? So it's gonna do that. Boom. Alright, bada boom. And let's do this. A little bit of that. Let's see, can we finish him off? Can we finish him off? Come on. Oh my, bro, 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 bro. Come on. Arrows. And there you 
go. Let's go. Six minutes, 15 seconds remaining and thousand fragments. Very, very nice. Let's go over here and awaken our X ability for 3,000, as I said. And there you guys go. Perfect. Oh, wait, there's a pirate raid going on. Hold on. I want to get a free fruit. All right, guys, there's the last one and let's kill him right. Wait, where do you go? Oh, you respawned over here. Okay, let's go do that. And let's go do that. that and we got diamond fruit. All right, guys, we can use this one for the raids, I guess. Now, let's go and try the ability we just awakened, okay? Which is Hand of the Emperor. Okay. So, let's go and try it out right now. Not sure what to expect. So, three, two, one, and go. Whoa. What the? What the? Huh? I just shot a beam through his head, okay? Let's go and try that again, okay? Oh, my. Yo. That is pretty good, but I'm not sure how you're gonna hit that within battling, okay? Like, sorry, move left to right. Let's see if I can hit you, okay? All right, three, two, one, and go. Yeah, it's literally impossible. So yeah, you can only use it on like NPCs or stuff or bosses. So it's not really that good for PvP. Well, it's pretty terrible. Now let's go and awaken the next ability, which is Reflection Kick. All right, guys, next boss, next raid. And we're about to kill this guy over here. Let's see. Okay, wait, wait, that's the wrong ability. Oh my God. Oh my God, I almost go. Wait, wait it's, he's upstairs again. Ah, this boss must be the most annoying boss, okay? All right, and where is he? Wait, oh, he's right here. Did he heal himself up? It looks like it, okay? Let's do the beam on him. Let's do this on him. Come on. Bro, why is he falling off the map? Bro, 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 bro. He's gonna respawn again downstairs, bro. We don't want that, okay? We don't want any of that. So we're gonna shoot that over here. Come on, a few more at the... Oh, what? And he's down again. All right, we go down, down, down. And now we go kill him, guys. The devs should fix this map because uh, this is so annoying. But anyway, let's go and kill him right here. Come on. And let's go. Six minutes and 18 seconds remaining. 1,000 fragments. And it's awakening time. So we're gonna go right over here. And we're gonna awaken our C ability for four... Thousand. Okay, that's one of the last ones. After this, one more raid. All right, the C ability is now called Light Speed Destroyer. Okay, that was a li like the light kick. Okay, so let's go and try it out. Three, two, one. Show what? Wait, did I just grab you or what was that? Because on the last ability, you go up and you just shoot a light beam down. But now, wait, let me let me zoom out a bit. Okay, bro. I literally just grab him everywhere I go in the air. What the? Yeah, you gotta grab. This is insane. All right, so now we got the fine arrow, which is the arrows. Pretty decent. We got a hand of the emperor, which is the huge beam. And we got light speed destroyer. Oh my god. These abilities look insane. But now we have one more to awaken, which is sky beam barrage for the last ability. All right, guys, the last boss is waiting for us. And uh, what is he doing? What? What is he do? Wait, what is he actually do? Wait, what the? Anyway, I think it's time to get this guy out of here, okay? This guy's been alive for way too long. He's an ancient guy, okay? He should be buried, okay? Like, look, he can't even fight. He can't even stand up anymore, okay? You're too old to fight, all right, buddy? You are too old to fight. And there you guys go. Seven minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. And we got a thousand fragments, as always. And now it's finally time to awaken the V ability for five thousand fragments okay and we get all the abilities maxed out now let's go and try them out all together all right guys now it's called wrath of god all right let's see what this is all right three two one and what the okay um, oh this is how you point what the <laughs> okay and go okay so it got a bunch bigger but it kind of look like it's the same damage so the ability isn't that much difference it's just like it's bigger right it's much bigger and i guess that ability happens faster yeah 3.3k not too shabby i guess but yeah pretty cool okay it's the z ability we got this the three arrows then we got this the huge beam then we got this this one is the best one in my opinion and then we got the raid God, and let's see how much damage all these abilities do all together. Ah, uh, yeah, not even close to dying. Yeah. So, guys, that was a light fruit awakening. And we have no other fruits to awaken. We literally awakened every fruit in the game. Quite literally. I'm probably gonna master out all these fruits that I still have to master out, like leopard, venom. But yeah, let me know which one to master next. Because I have no clue, right? And look at that. Star also has awakened light. Look at that. That looks so sick. Oh, and it's turning nighttime. So, it's gonna be really cool to see. Yeah, look at that. It's like a falling star. That's really nice. All right, guys. Welcome back to another Blocks Fruit video. We're going to be mastering another fruit, okay? And in the last video, we did Shadow Fruit, as you can see, okay? We got this new Umbra meter, which I've never seen before. It was something new to learn, but this fruit overall was an amazing fruit, okay? If you guys have not seen this video, all I gotta say, Shadow Fruit is a underrated fruit, okay? I mean, just look at one of these abilities. 
Yeah, all right. I mean, that's all I'm gonna show you. And not to mention, we have this like cool galaxy thing around us, which is pretty nice, I guess. But guys, in today's video, right, we're gonna be mastering another fruit, which as you guys can see on the title on the thumbnail, it's gonna be another mythical fruit, the gravity fruit. And oh my, okay. Yo, okay, okay, we got some rock stones flying around it. I mean, pretty nice, I guess. All right, let me switch out Shadow Fruit because, yeah, that's much better. Okay, you can see. Okay, it's glowy. Ooh, I like glowy stuff. I like it. This fruit looks really interesting, but I don't think I know anybody that uses this fruit. So, we'll see in today's video if my Robux is worth this fruit, okay? Gravity. I've actually never used this fruit, so, yeah. But did you guys know that this series is almost coming to an end? Yeah, after this video, we probably will have, like, two more fruits to master. But do not fear, because I will be still uploading after this series, right? Nothing's gonna change. I'm still gonna be probably daily uploading. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's go and roll a fruit. And where is Star? Oh, there you are. I thought you're not gonna show up, right? You're late. But it's all good, right? It's all good. Let's go and roll a fruit because we need to roll one, right? Yo, I just woke up. Bro, what do you mean you woke up? It's like 5 p.m. already. Bro. Oh, man. Okay, whatever, all right? Okay, let's roll a fruit. Okay, three, two, one, and uh, roll now. There you go. And I got the bomb fruits. Hey, you got a spring fruit. Okay, at least no kilo, okay? Kilo virus is hopefully gone, all right? Anyway, guys, we gotta go over here. And I don't think Star even knows what fruit we are, like, doing, okay? But, okay, let's go over here and let's do gravity over here. Let's go and buy it for 2.3k Robux. I mean, it's all right, okay? That's all right. Let's go and buy it right here. It's all our Robux for, like, a simple fruit. Um, but let's go... Wait, what is he eating? Okay, I just... I just bought it, okay? Redeemed. There you go. We got gravity. Did you eat the bomb fruit? Really? Okay, why did you eat bomb fruit? What? Why? I mean, it's not a terrible fruit, I guess. But okay, guys, as you can see, we have Gravity Fruit Mastery 1. And as you can see, I have only one ability, which is called the Gravity Push. Okay, bro, stop it. What are you charging up for, man? Oh. What the? All right, but guys, look at that. So we need 300 mastery to master this fruit further, okay? And then we can unlock Meteor's Rain. And who do you think you are, bro? This guy was literally flying with bomb. All right, guys, so this fruit is called Gravity, right? So can I control Gravity now or what's going on here? Can I can I fly? Can I, what can I do? Well, we're about to try it out, okay? Gravity push, okay? I'm expecting some crazy stuff because at the end of the day, it's a mythical fruit, all right? All right, let's go try it out right here and see if it's, a whoa, what the? Dude, stop bombing me already and let me try my fruit okay come on all right we got a gravity push okay let's see oh yo what is that in my hand bro i'm about to control the gravity okay come on and okay 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 so i literally pushed you okay so it's like a push ability i guess it's not bad 2.4k damage is bad though okay it's low damage and it just pushes you away oh okay dude and now you're using spiky bro yeah we know that's a better one okay but yeah gravity push isn't that interesting of an ability okay maybe from here i guess you can use it to like push people away so you can run away other than that it's pretty boring but now we gotta unlock every single other ability so let's go and kill someone we didn't kill on a while okay and oh you're already here okay yeah i guess you have minx so you're faster but how does ligma like my new ability okay let's See? Gravity push. Oh, bro, my ability cooldown is way too long. I can't even kill this guy. Okay, let's see. Come on. Now, oh, bro, he's already 1 HP and he's gonna heal up soon. Okay, there you go. Come on. And, bro, how is he not dead yet? It literally is healing up again. Come on. Die already, bro. It's literally impossible to kill him. It's literally impossible. I'm not even joking, guys. Look, he's healing himself up every single time. And now, come on, please. And there you go. Okay, finally, bro. He was healing himself like crazy. But how much mastery can we get, all right? Let's see. 50, hopefully 100, because that's the next ability. And we did get a 100. So perfect. Let's go and try it out. All right, so we have two new abilities. Gravity Obeisance, whatever that's called, okay? And Boulder Flight. So let's go and try the fly ability first. Okay, let's see. Come on. Um, What the? Okay. This is a very slow one. Can we even do damage? Tell me we can. Bro, we can't even do damage. You're not even fast and you're not dealing damage. So yeah, this one is pretty bad. This should probably get a rework, I feel like. But okay, let's go and try the next one. Gravity Obeisance. Okay, I don't even know what that is, but let's go and try it. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Cho. Okay. Wait, can you move? Wait. I don't think you can move. It stuns. Okay, so that means you can't move. Ooh, I already like this fruit more, okay? Because you can actually do some combos when you stun them, right? So it does a lot of damage. Look at that. It does like 3.8k. And now you can instantly do an ability after, which is very, very nice. But now let's go unlock the next ones, Meteor Pitch and Meteor Rain, okay? Let's see what this is. Because so far, it's not looking that promising, right? And we have arrived at the place where I spent most of my time mastering fruits. And that's obviously K-Queen, all right? So K-Queen, I'm back because... 
I need to master another food, all right? I hope you don't mind because we need the mastery, all right? Okay, Skate Queen is very low, and I was kind of confused how I'm gonna kill bosses with the first ability, but luckily we got a second one, all right? So this one, yeah, it wouldn't really cut it, all right? Guys, okay, so luckily we have the second one, okay? Okay, the second one is really good. Look at this. Show. Okay, okay, be stuns, and we can do Z. There we go, combo. That did around 6k, that's not too bad, I guess, but now we need to finish it off, and there you go, all right? Let's see how much mastery, 144 we started. Let's see, come on, please. 188, okay, so we need like 12 more. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I expected something way different from Gravity Fruit, okay? I'm not even gonna lie, okay? I thought we were gonna levitate stuff, I thought we were gonna do like controlling stuff, but I guess that's a control fruit job. But anyway, let's go and go over here. Boom, this ability is so good, okay? Yeah, it stuns them, and there you go. I guess we removed the gravity, and we stunned them in our place, okay? And now we need to just wait. That's really slow cooldown, look at that. It's still reloading. I don't like the cooldown, but I guess, um, yeah, you're about to die, okay? Do this one, come on. Come on, and right after come on this one she didn't die what i can't even see her hp anymore okay and you are dead okay new skill vape okay let's go okay we unlocked a meteor pitch okay i wonder what this is okay let's go try it out all right guys meteor pitch okay let's see what it does i mean i'm pretty excited okay three two one and go what yo what? Wait, so I mark an area and then a meteor comes falling from the sky. It didn't do damage damage though, so... Alright guys, that feels really hard to hit, okay? I don't know how anyone is gonna hit that because look at the cool... Like, look how... You gotta wait. Okay, I mean, it's pretty instant, actually. That was pretty cool, though. We summon meteors. Okay, I like this route more, okay? But guys, don't you think it would be better if you, like, could walk on walls like this uh, with gravity? That would make sense, right? Because it's a like, gravity fruit at the end of the day, right? Like, you're removing gravity. But, I mean, I can walk on walls. But guys, so far, abilities haven't really been that impressive, okay? I'm not even gonna lie, okay? This fruit isn't that great so far. The only ability that's fun is the stun ability. Look at that. I'm stunning. And can I do the meteor right again? Come on. The meteor. No, it's... Oh, wait, I did hit him. What the... I sent him flying. That is not too bad, all right? But the NPCs are back. Bro, I hate these NPCs. Go away. All right, guys. But now it's the hardest job of all, okay? Meteor's rain. 300 mastery. Oh, man. Okay, but first we need to get this fruit that has spawned, all right? The fruit detected. Hopefully it's a good one. Oh, and start already... No, okay, start teleporting me. Where is it? Oh, oh it is at pour down. Okay, wait, where is it? Okay, it should be right over here. Oh, it's up that mountain. I remember, okay? So once we go over here, it should be right... Over here, come on, come on. It's a diamond fruit, bruh. That is so bad, bro. Okay, it's some big boy diamond fruit, but you can have it, okay? It's a, it's a diamond, okay? It's worth a lot of money. Look, the pirates already want it, right? They're, they're running behind us. Run away, man. All right, K-Queen, K-Queen. I got a, I got a present for- Oh, yo, yo, yo. All right, she does not want it. Wait, wait. Okay, let me drop it. There yo. Yo, what the? Bro, just take it. Don't be so greedy. Like, what? I'm giving you a present, okay? Okay, you're not grateful, okay? Let me get you in this over here, okay? There you go. You gotta remember, okay? You always gotta be grateful and humble, okay? Hey, let me get that meteor on your head. There you go. And there you go, K-Queen. How does it feel, okay? How does it feel, okay? You're low. You're in a bad situation, okay? And now you're about to die, okay? Come on. Can we one-shot her? Come on, can we one-shot her? Come on, come on. There you go. Meteor. And... Oh my god, almost. That was a good combo, okay? She's stunned, like, for a long time. All right, push once again. Come on. Okay, is she gonna die? Is she gonna die? Is she gonna die? Come on, die! Bro, she's not dying. Oh my god, bro. Okay, okay. Now you're done. Okay, there you go. Finally. And that only gave us 20 masteries. So we gotta do this a bit more times. All right, come here, K-Queen. One more time. One more time, okay? Come here, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. And now send a meteor. Come on, send a meteor. Come on. On time. Oh my god, bro, bro, bro. Right, come on, K-Queen. You're literally 1 HP, okay? Why, why aren't you dying? I don't even see the HP anymore. What? Stop swinging your sword. Oh my god, okay. There you go. Come on, do this. Do that. And you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I'm just better. What can I say? All right, K-Queen. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're about to die, okay? Come on. Wait. My abilities aren't working. What? Okay, there you go. There you go. Come on. Come here. Stun him, stun him, stun him. Meteor on your head. There you go. And now you should be dead. Come on. I saw like one HP. And there you go. 292. So one more. Wait, will Longma give enough? Let's actually try that. Alright, guys. Longma is about to die, I think. Okay. He's lying on the ground already. He's preparing his death, okay? <laughs> Yo. Alright, a few more. Come on. Do this. Alright. Longma, you're dead to me, okay? You're dead. Come on. Come on. Is it gonna kill you? No, I don't think so, okay? Need one more try. Oh, yo. These abilities are so annoying, to be honest, but okay. This and meteor on your head. Come on. Is it gonna kill you? That what? Wait. I didn't kill her. What? I guess nobody got mastery there. I don't know what happened. It glitched out or something. Uh, yeah. I guess we gotta do it again. All right, guys. Ligma's almost dead or... Yeah, well, not almost. A okay, 1 HP, I think. There you go. All right, come on, come on, come on. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Come on. Combo. There you go. And... Maybe meteor. 
Bro, she's out. Well, one more and you're done. And exactly mastery 300. What a coincidence. Now we got a new skill available, which is Meteor Rain. So we need to try this. Oh, but pirates are raiding the castle. Yo, yo, yo. Let's defeat this first, okay? You ain't getting my land, all right? Come here, filthy pirate, okay? Come here. Where's the pirates at? I don't see any. Okay, there you go. There's one. I think that's the last one. And I just yeeted him out of the map. What the? And I think he's dead, all right? Okay, let me kill him. There you go. And boom. We got a ice fruit. That's pretty bad, all right? It's not a legendary. It's not a mythic, okay? You can have it. I don't think I even have storage for that. But guys, we need to test the last ability of gravity, and that's gonna be our wrap for gravity. And Star is eating ice for some reason. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. But for you, now we're gonna try the Meteor Strain, okay? Let's see what it does. Hopefully, it's really, really good. Because so far, the only really good ability is the X one that can stun people. But now, let's go and try it. 3, 2, 1, and go, all right? Oh my god. What? There were like a bunch of meteors that fell from the sky and it did quite a lot of damage, like 5.6k, whenever not even every single meteor hits. So what if every single one hits? I mean, how is it even possible? Because, oh wait, I already know how, okay? So we do the V and we do X. Here we go, he's stunned. Show. Sure. Oh my god. Oh my god wait this might be the best ability in the game okay you guys i say this almost every video but this might be actually the best look he's saying what bro i stunned him he couldn't move and i just did an ability that does like so much damage yeah so much damage that's what i'm saying so what i did is first v right because the meteors knock back him so we did this and then we do this so that is insane, bro. That was like a 12,000 damage combo. And guys, as you can see, I don't have Pal Scarf on. And this gives you even more block through damage. So let's go and try it. All right, Star has his hacky on and full HP. Okay, let's go and try it. Let's go and try it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so first uh, V and then X. Come on, come on, come on. How much damage? How much damage? Yo, what? Bro! Alright, this is literally a one-shot combo. And then after that, we can even do this. And we can even do my fighting style. So, yeah. This guy should be dead in seconds, alright? I don't know why this is so OP. This is an actual one-shot combo. If you combine it with any other single ability. And guys, I already got it, okay? This is the best combo in the game. Fruit-wise, okay? Which other fruit has a better combo? Okay, name it, alright? Today's Blouse Fruits video. I'll literally be going over from a small noob Buddha fruit. All the way upgrading myself onto a fully awakened pro buddha fruit and becoming overpowered in blocks fruits so i can finally beat any boss i want and literally destroy the game also if this video hits 3,000 likes in the next 48 hours i'll give out three permanent buddha fruits to three lucky subscribers so make sure you guys subscribe right now down below and let's get on with the video on to our first awakening here we go okay this is the last item of buddha raid and as you can see there's a lot of buddhas some of them can do a lot of damage. Ooh, what the heck? And some of them can even uh, get you out of the map. Oh my god, wait, I need to be careful here. I need to be as careful as I can here because I don't want to die here because if I die, I can't awaken. So, okay, let's get this guy. And now this should be the last one and then the boss. Here we go. And the boss should be the hardest one, but we got a little tactic how to beat it. Oh no, the boss got on the other side of the wall. Okay, we gotta run. Dude, I need to get over this wall. All right here should be good. No, he climbed over again. Wait, are you serious, bro? I need to get over here. This is the method of beating the boss, okay? We're we're gonna go here, we're gonna beat him a bit, beat him a bit. And then when he does his ability, we need to run. We need to run away, dash away, and then we're gonna beat him again, okay? And that's how you not lose HP. And you can just beat him, right? So do this a few more times. And awakening time. All right, we're in. And we unlocked two new titles. Wait, did you see that? We unlocked two new titles. What the heck? I guess that'd be. All right, mysterious entity, take me to ascension. Do you wish to awaken the Z ability? Yes, sir. What? I've never seen that many titles pop up. What the heck? Buddha transform. Oh my, we're so big what the oh my that's so big compared to the non-awakened this is huge what the heck i'm not even joking i didn't expect it to be this big this is probably the biggest you can get compared to any other fruit i mean it's not even comparable let's be honest but now obviously we need to awaken every single other ability so let's go we're in a new raid to unlock a new ability let's speed run this oh and look at that a block shoot has spawned i actually never had that happen to me that i'm in a raid and a block shoot spawns that's pretty interesting we'll have to get that one after the raid but first let's finish 
finish this. All right, again, on to the last island, which is what is kind of annoying because all these Buddhas use the knockback ability and then you're just flying around and you can't do anything about it. Honestly, pretty annoying, but it is doable. All right, boss, come here. You're going to die. All right, as you can see, he's behind the wall, so he can't hit us. So now we can just farm him. Easy peasy. And boom. Once again, awakening time. All right, mysterious entity, what ability can we awaken? F ability, all right. 2,000 fragments, bro. I'm gonna be going bro. Wait, what's the F ability? Oh, it's like a dash. Oh, that's pretty nice. I guess because Buddha is slow, the dash will really help. Nice. On to the next raid. All right, we're fighting the boss on the last island, and it should be that any second. And there you go. Time to awaken another ability. And I just realized I still haven't gotten that fruit. Oh, no. Anyway, let's see. What can we awaken the X ability for? Oh, no. Three thousand fragments bro are you kidding me how expensive is this oh what the heck happened to yo i'm sitting in the air what bro i just okay i just used that new glitch guys oh my god like bro i'm literally floating in the air like <laughs> what that's pretty cool i guess this last island is always infused with buddhas like look how many there are but they look like minions compared to me because look how big i am and you guys see that the boss actually is awakened form i didn't even notice that up until now but it's time to destroy him so let's do that all right, there you go. All right, let's see what we're awakening this time because I'm pretty excited. Okay, let's go over here. The sea ability for 4,000. Oh, bro, I am baroque. Soon I'll be in fragment depth and I'll be having to beg on the streets for fragments. Like, this is not good. And the worst part is we have one more ability to awaken. Oh, wish me luck because I'll need it. All right, on to our final ability transformations. Finally, let's go. Okay, please don't cost like 5,000 fragments. Like, uh, th the last one was 4,000, all right? No, 5,000. Yo, that is so much. I literally went broke doing this. And now, finally, we got Buddha Awakened, and now we can become the strongest player ever. Now, I think the best way to test my Awakened Buddha is on all the bosses in Bloxers, because the bosses are usually very tanky and hard to destroy. And I'm pretty sure here is the Captain Elephant, so we can try it on him. Oh, yeah, boys, do not forget to claim your quest, because the quest actually gives you a lot of money. Okay, look at this. 40,000 for just killing the boss. That's insane. And you also get cash on top by killing the boss. So now it's time to shift up and okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. This boss has no chance. Look at the damage I'm dealing with Awakened Buddha, bro. I am undestroyable. Look at the damage he's doing. Like, literally zero. And also, I did kind of awaken all the abilities without a reason because you kind of only need a shift awaken. That's pretty much the only thing you need. But oh well, better awaken fully than not. Wait, let's go and compare the damage. Okay, so once I hit him once, 2,580. Do we get any damage buff? Okay, let's see. No, we don't. Okay, 2,000. Okay, so it's the damage is the same. I good to mention that the defense on Buddha is not the only thing. Okay, look at the hitbox, bro. I'm not even close and I'm hitting the boss. Like, he can't even hit me back and I'm, bro, like, that's the most overpowered thing you can get on blocks. Bro, I'm not even in, I'm not even nearby. Look at this. Bro, that is crazy. And there goes the boss. Look at that. 84,000 earned, which is insane. Also really good to mention is that if you go in the water with Buddha, you do not get damage. Even, I'm not even shark race. Look, and I'm not getting damage because the hitbox is exactly in the middle. And if you're that big, it's exactly here. So you're not taking any damage, which is really good about Buddha. So you can travel the seas with Buddha. You don't even need a boat. Now, listen, I don't think anyone actually awakens all the moves on Buddha. So this will probably be your first time seeing all the awakened moves. Not gonna lie. All right, so for the first move, we got Heavenly Impact. All right, let's transform and let's see what this does because I have no idea. All right, let's see. Heavenly Impact. Okay, let's press it and... Ooh, okay, what was that? I guess I just slammed the ground. Didn't even hit the boss, which is right over here. So wait, do I need to be closer? And then heavy impact. 200. Okay, I have zero points on blocks roots. That doesn't matter. That's not gonna stop me from using light annihilation and... What even does that? I guess I just charge up and explode. So, see? And then, wait, I can hold it? Yo, what the heck? Okay, I can literally hold it. Oh, I can... Oh, what the heck? The boss just flew out the map. What the heck? I don't know about that. And obviously, we got the F as dash. So, you can just dash away from the boss. Look, he's confused. Where did he go? Yeah, I wonder where the big Buddha went. He surely couldn't escape, right? <laughs> Let me try it again. Okay, so, wait. I couldn't charge... Oh, the C ability. Wait, I, I got him again. Wait. Right, so, C, charge it up. And now, wait. Ah, uh, yeah attacked me. All right, anyway, let's see. What does this V ability do? Twilight of the Gods. I want to see that. Okay, V. Let's see. 
do? Oh my god, that's the annoying ability. I was getting on the Ruda raid. That was so annoying when the boss was spamming it. He was literally doing like 6,000 damage. So I'm pretty sure if you max blocks roots, this might be really overpowered. But other than that, these moves are pretty, I mean, bad, you know? Because they're not any stun moves. They're just knockback moves. So I don't think I'll be using that. Now, did you know that you can solo any raid once you have Awakened Buddha and a Go Mask and Go Race? Because all these things give you lifesteal and huge defense, which you get infinite HP and just ran through the raid. So if you want to do solo raids, Buddha is the way to go. And also, I wonder what Big Mom has to say about this, because I know she's been getting me a lot of trouble. Hello. I am back, and I'm back with something crazy. Yes, try to fight me. I know you probably will win this time, right? Okay, let's see. Can we even, like, defeat her? Like, it, it will take ages, right? When is she gonna do her stupid laser beam? I, I don't wanna even dodge it anymore. Like, it's so stupid. Ah, uh, there it is. I mean, hey, at least you miss. Defeating K Queen is actually super hard without Buddha. Now, once I turn on Buddha, she has no chance. But why is the roof so close to me? Oh my god, I, I barely fit in here. Okay, yeah, maybe this is the annoying part. I can barely see myself. Or I can barely see where the boss is, I guess. But I do have the goal mask, so let's go and equip that. Now, apparently, I should have a lot of life steal, so let's see. Oh yeah, check it out. My HP is just coming back whenever I'm, like, beating the boss. Wait, that is so good. Come here, big mom. You are about to die. Any last words before you die against an awakened Buddha? Oh. I guess not, because you're already dead. I also have to mention, if you're new to Blocks Roots, then stop whatever you're doing. Try to focus getting this fruit. Try getting it permanent, try getting it whatever. But as you guys know, I'm giving away three permanent Buddha fruits in this video. If it hits 3,000 likes. So you already know what to do. And without any further ado, I'm out with this one. Buddha is amazing.